I'm John from Radar Photo. We'll be looking at the backdrop support kit we call the S12 and how to set it up and what it can do for you. First of all, it's in a black bag. The whole thing weighs about 8.7 kilograms. The length is about 1 meters. You can carry it this way over your shoulder or this way if you prefer. When you go out for your shoots. So now we'll open it up and see what's inside. There's some peripheral things here. We call this the paper jammer. And there's a chain. This is a bright colored thing to help you pull up and down the paper roll. There's a the weight that holds the chain down, allen key and some clips over here. From this end, there are three sleeves which make up the bag. And on the sides, there's a light stands, two light stands. In the center, there's four sets of crossbars, horizontal crossbars, we will connect up to form the main part of the set. So these four parts make up the crossbar, there are four horizontal parts, and they are held together by this silver connector. Each connector, there's a screw, which is an allen key, you can tighten or loosen. As you tighten, the screw goes in and it expands. That's how it grips against the next black horizontal bar. That's how the four pieces can come together. So when you tighten here, this part will be secure. So here we had a horizontal bar. We call this the head because it has this little gear thing. It's the part of the bar where you start working. So first we put in the jammer. So loosen the jammer so you can go through the end. The next few steps will connect up the rest of the bars depending on how long you want your bar to be. The maximum is four pieces. So for demonstration, I'll put in a piece of paper over here and then you, you will squeeze into this jammer such that it's secure. So before putting this paper, we unscrew this portion. So now we can put it back as well as insert the second part of the paper jammer. I've unscrewed already, shown here. So now I just install it back. So just tighten, push the jammer into the paper, tighten the screws and now you're ready to mount the crossbar with the paper onto the light stands. So we have the light stand, it forms with two of these, so we just unscrew the base, loosen the legs and tighten here and this is a spring cushion, so just unscrew and raise the light stand. Now we have joined together just two pieces of the bars for demonstration. Otherwise the 4 meters is too long to show in one video. And then the paper is connected with the jammers at the side. And now we will be mounting the crossbar onto the stand over here. It's best to get help. But here I'm showing it on my own. And you can raise the light stands one by one or together on both sides. Next we have the chain. Here is the yellow chain. Just to mount it over here. First to take out. Okay, first we have the yellow chain. Comes in a loop. Then to take out, just turn it here and then you push it forwards. First, you can attach the weight to come with it. The weight is to help you reduce swaying of the paper too much. So put in the, put in the weight and then just slot in the chain over the gear. And then just close it back. And then you can start rolling your paper roll. 